Hey guys, today so we're back with another product review. And today on the channel, we'll be reviewing the magazine holder MG9 by Recovery for the Recovery 2020 brace for Glock. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Once again, today we're going to be reviewing the MG9 magazine holder by Recovery for the Recovery 2020 stabilizing brace for your Glock systems. Uh, not only are we going to be reviewing that, but we're also going to be reviewing the sling that you can also purchase for this and a few other things for this. I thought I would knock it all out in one video to where we've already reviewed the Recovery 2020 brace and the Glock system, but uh, uh, YG or ZFI-INC also have sent me this and also YRS INC, don't forget them, but they have sent me not only these extra products for the 2020 brace, but they also sent me a actual uh, holster too for all this stuff. So we'll get into the holster here in a few minutes. But before we start the video today, Nanny Goat is gonna be reviewing the Cairo uh, sunglasses backslash tactical shooting glasses. And uh, I thought I would let him uh, maul them off today for us while we're sitting here talking about this. So guys, if you're interested in the glasses, I'll have a review out on them very soon, so stay tuned for them. But Nanny Goat likes to wear them, so I thought I'd let him uh, mow them off for us. But anyway, uh, so we're once again going to be reviewing the MG9 uh, magazine holder. This is kind of, depending on how you want to classify it, it's kind of a, sta or not stabilizing, but a uh, foregrip for the stabilizing brace, the 2020 Recover. And uh, this has been one of my favorite uh, things that uh, ZFI-INC.com and YRS-INC uh, has actually sent me. And uh, without them, I couldn't review any of these products. So once again, guys, if you like the channel, please support them because they help me out a lot by sending me these products to review for them. And I appreciate them 100%. And their link will be in the description below where you can check out uh, these products and multiple others on their website. So let's go ahead and jump into the review. So why they have actually, actually first, the gun is unloaded as you can see here. The magazine here in the front is unloaded. You can see the follower and this one right here is unloaded also. We'll do the finger test. Gun is unloaded, a little bit dirty, but as you can see here, the gun is fully unloaded. It's safe to talk about, no negligent, no negligent discharges or anything like that gonna happen here. So guys, we're ready to go ahead and talk about it. So, uh, like I was saying though, whenever you actually can have this gun and this brace set up to where you can sometimes shoulder it, sometimes not, it is a very nice setup. So not only can you hold it out like this, but you can also connect this piece right here to your arms. You can have a stabilizer brace platform and you can also sometimes shoulder it if you'd like to. So you have a very nice shooting platform here if you'd like that. But what this up here also does is where you're combining this back here for your shooting platform to where you can sometimes shoulder it. As you see here, you have a good foregrip right here on your hand. You can get some very quick, accurate shots out of your Glock pistol. And that's what this was uh, made to do to where you can get some very quick follow-up shots, some very accurate quick follow-up shots, and you're not gonna have a lot of that recoil to where a lot of your recoils come back here in this stabilizing brace into your shoulder if you sometimes shoulder it. Uh, but for certain, you all know why I say sometimes shoulder, sometimes not, because of the ATF's uh, classification of this. But just wanting y'all to make sure that we always stay 100% legal as best as we can. But this gun right here not only has the forward grip on it to where we can get a good stabilizing platform, but to where you run empty in your first magazine, you take it out, eject it, it can fall to the ground, or you can bring it out with your hand, take your other hand, come up here, and I've, I've also seen some people just straight up jerk it out, as you see here, load it in, or they actually have a place here to where you go ahead and grip it, push your thumb all the way up, and it comes out very easy. So either way you wanna do it would be fine with me, but uh, I've done it both ways, and either way works very well. But as you can see in the video right now, uh, I put this thing to its test, and I really do love this shooting platform, and uh, one of the, like I said, one of the best things that uh, they have sent me that I have genuinely, absolutely love, and you know I always tell the God's honest truth with every review I do, but this is one that I've actually have kept in the vehicle for a uh, 
vehicle defense gun or, you know, any kind of uh, circumstance that where you would actually ever, you know, think of needing this, I've got it ready for use anytime you need to. This gun can still uh, fold up, just as you can see here, fold it all the way out and you have it fully out. You can still drop the slide just by hitting the extended slide release if your Glock model has that. If not, if it's back in the full platform, you can re-rack it, let it go. I was holding down the slide release, there's not a full magazine in it, but that's how it would go if it did have a full magazine in it. Once again, click, run, dry, slide comes back, drop your mag, put this one out, fill this one in, drop the slide, you're ready to go. So if you start out with 33 rounds, you can switch to your 17 round magazine and you've got a lot of firepower right here in a very small, very small build. So like I said, if you fold this up right here, you can take this, throw it in your backpack, throw it in your truck, do whatever you want to with it, but you've got a very good stabilized platform here for shooting and anything else that you need to do for. Take rip, open it up. If you don't keep one in the chamber, rack the slide and you're ready to go. But guys, being dead honest with you, this, this right here is kind of a saving grace. Even though I love a stabilizing uh, brace as it is, uh, whenever you was actually holding it up here, even though you could still get a good hold on it, it was not the best, but it will still work very well. But now where you have that grip, you can do a three finger under, one finger over, or do a full four finger under if you wanna do that, just however you like it the best. But as you have it right here, you can put some very, very quick range, uh, rounds down range and you've got a great setup. Also here on the sides, you have your 1913 Picatinny rails that you can take off if you'd like to. I've got them on both sides, as you can see here. And I've got a Olight uh, Baller Mini on here to where you also not only have the lasers you can see here, but you can have a light and laser or just straight light. So I like that setup a lot on it. I need to get that laser uh, dialed in with the sight sometime or another. But as you can see here, very nice platform and I like it a lot. So getting on to the sling, this is something else that you can also buy for your uh, 2020 recovery stabilizing brace for the Glock platforms. And is what this is pretty much is a bungee cord, but it's a higher built bungee cord if you all can understand what I mean. And all you have to do is wrap it around you. I have it to the tension to where I like it the best, to where I feel like it is secured on my body well enough to where I can also do what I need to be done with it. So you can take it, wrap around your head, wrap around your arm or anything like that, and you've got a good stabilizing brace or stabilizing uh, sling here. And you can take it, you can actually transition with it if you want to, to your other one, doesn't matter, but I like it a lot. And they actually sent me this to review also. It goes on very easily here on the back, as you can see, it comes under the stabilizing kit here in the back and you just wrap it under, then wrap it back through itself, and it's very secure and it's not gonna be going anywhere. So not only do you have this great uh, product here, but you also have the foregrip, and that makes it a very well shooting platform that I like a lot. So with this, they also sent me uh, these pieces that you can put on the bottom here. I don't have them on here now because I actually have the, uh, fore, or the foregrip of the magazine well that I like the best but they also have sent uh, pieces here to where you can also use this and have a big drop down light and use your outside the waistband holster if you'd like to. So you can have uh, pretty much every bit of this on here with the drop, drop down light and have this to where you can actually holster the gun if you want to. Uh, like I said, I like it better in this setup that I have right here, but this is available also if you'd like to do that. And uh, it makes it a very good gun if you want to carry it on your side or whatever else. Just uh, kind of take into consideration that if you wear it on your right hand side, you'll have to take off the light and put it on the left hand side. Or if your left hand holster, vice versa, take the light off the right hand side, put it on the left. So just keep that in mind. But uh, I'll show a few pictures of what that looks like right now with it. But just keep that in mind that if you do have that set up, you cannot run the uh, angle foregrip as you see here. You can actually drop it down to where you can put it down here if you want to do that but it just kind of changes it up a little bit. Nothing too extreme, but uh, I like the way it's set up here the best. It looks the best to me, and I think uh, for functionality-wise, it runs the best, but you can pick this up, and uh, some of them even come with them if you want to click that whenever you're checking out, but it has that on here just for if you want that either way it goes. But guys, appreciate y'all viewing as always. 
Uh, if you have any questions or comments about the Recovery 2020 Stabilizing Brace, the MG9 Magwell, the sling, or the outside of the waistband holster, and how to set that up, just let me know in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Guys, this is one nice setup, and I actually have uh, two Glock 34s now, one to actually keep on my side of concealed carry, and one to keep 24-7 uh, in this uh, uh, configuration, so I can have it any time I want to, and don't have to worry about putting it together or whatever else. But guys, I think you all would very well enjoy this. Kind of need to tighten up my uh, compensator at the end a little bit. I've been shooting a lot of rounds through it and it gave me some Loctite for them screws, but it stays on there any way it goes. But uh, I really do think you all would like this. Uh, check this out in the link in the description below if you'd like to. And also check out zfi-inc.com's website and yrsinc.com's website. Both of them uh, links will be in the description below. You can check out all this stuff and you can check out multiple other great products that they have on our website. And once again, I'd like to give them a great thank you for everything they do for me and everything they send to me so I can review for you all. Guys, appreciate y'all viewing. Like and subscribe for more gun, gear, and knife reviews. And I'll see y'all in next video.